joining us via Skype now from London is uh, Elizabeth Kendall at uh, Pembroke College and the University of Oxford. It- Elizabeth Kendall, uh, what are you expecting to come out of these talks then? I'm certainly not expecting a full-on peace deal for Yemen to come out of these talks. But I think it is very significant already that we have both of the major warring sides together in the same place, in the same location, at the same time, to face each other. That is already a huge amount of progress. But... Will it actually move beyond confidence-building measures? We've already seen some of these confidence-building measures. What we want now are some tangible talks, perhaps not to sort out all of Yemen's problems, but the two most urgent matters that we must hope come out of the talks are a ceasefire and some kind of agreement to prop up the economy that's in meltdown, because both of these situations are exacerbating this appalling humanitarian crisis. If the talks can solve those two issues, then the other really big questions can come later. Um, does this ultimately coming come down to both sides need, needing to, to get something from this, to save face if, if there's going to be a lasting solution? Yes, I think you're right. Both of these main warring sides need to be able to position any outcome from these talks as a victory for themselves. But even if that happens, then at some point, other warring constituencies within Yemen will need to be brought into these talks in order for peace to translate on the ground. And the reason for that is that this ultimately was a domestically generated conflict. Yes, it now has international actors, but ultimately there are some very serious grievances that the Houthis have that need to be addressed, as other outlying regions have. And peace will never prevail in Yemen unless that happens. And I should just say that unless that happens fairly rapidly, then we could see a whole raft of other conflicts erupting in Yemen. By that, I mean the north-south fault line, outlying regions, secessionist movements, growing sectarianism.